Merry Christmas, Renegade Nation. Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Miklos Huber, Telma, Kono Dioda, Austin Long, Ju Chin, The Bird's Nest, Medic, Sly Ridley, Jake Slum, Kiki Rocks, Yosef Stalin, Typhlo 33OW, Master of Beings, and Marble Hornet. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, click the link below in the description to find out more. And we'll see you there. Have a happy new year. Give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. Oh. Don't get reference. Oh my gosh. Uh, the G.I. Joe PSAs? I only saw some of those. Uh, did you see the one where it was uh, the kid falling in the water? And uh, uh, Probably not, since I didn't get your reference if me, that's me, the same me, one. Me, 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 <laughs> I was walking in the woods, and I found the log. And I turned over the log, and underneath that log was a little stick. And I thought to myself, oh, that log had a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So... Uh, for those of you who get our stick references, thank you all so much. Um, my stick, a bad lip reading of The Last Jedi. We've made it very known how we feel about The Last Jedi. Um, okay, the other day I went and watched a movie with my nephews, and we went and watched, uh, we went and watched, um, uh, Jumanji, uh, which was a lot of fun. But so as good as the first one? I thought it was pretty good. I'm not, I don't know if it was as good as the first one, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the like change ups that they did. I enjoyed the new place that they went, and also, uh, you know who plays the main bad guy in it? Mm -mm. The fucking hound. <laughs> nice. And I was like, I, I saw him, and I'm like, hound? Because all of a sudden I see, I, I just see a big man and with a beard, and he starts talking. I'm like, it's the freaking hound. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. And, um, and you know, it's just, they, they do a lot of stuff in that movie. It's really good. And it actually got me hyped for a third one because there's actually a really neat concept that they're, that they're doing for a third one. So, we'll At have least to see the how Hound it. got to go on to be in something good after. Oh, after season eight? Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was a whole thing in which we kind of, I kind of feel the same way about season eight, the same way I feel about Last Jedi, man. I mean. That they were both. And, you know what the interesting thing is? They're both associate. They both have the number eight in them. Episode eight, season eight. Eights are just terrible. Anytime you get up to eight or something, it's hard to keep quality good. I guess. But yeah, yeah. I I will admit that um, the la the Friday the Thirteenth movie part eight is probably my least favorite. Probably I'd say that one and Jason Goes to Hell are my least favorite ones because. Uh, part eight's where he goes to New York, and, uh, New York, they have a sewer worker down there who says, yeah, every night, toxic waste just dumps into the sewer lines. I'm like, if that was happening in New York City, for real, everyone would be fucking dead. Because toxic waste in the sewers, while I'm sure does happen every now and again, is not the norm. And plus, they don't flood every night. I mean, so, therefore, it's bullshit. And plus, that that... The only part of that movie that was at least redeeming was the Falcon Punch! And that guy's head goes flying off the freaking... Also, technically, the eighth Nightmare on Elm Street movie was the remake. Oof. <laughs> Oof. So. God. That's that's not good. Oh, and also, people are making fun of the new Xbox uh, Series X, and that's the eighth official Xbox that they've released. So, I guess bad, thing, bad things comes in eights. I, I don't know. You know, uh, it's not bad, though, despite having bad in the title. Bad lip readings. I see where you were going They're with usually that. usually pretty good. Oh, yeah. Well, we got this one queued up here. Let's get it up on screen, and let's see what, uh, see what they, they, uh, see if they can make us actually enjoy this film. My stick. Hey. Where's the fire, huh? What the? <laughs> oh, no. Where you off to? Just this party in the garden. Ooh, nice. How about I join you? How about you don't? <laughs> Son, come back. Hey! Well, I told you to stop! 
Maybe it was that one that gave birth. Holy crap, it's all connected. Are you? Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson. I do believe that. <laughs> I don't know. Never mind. I ain't gonna say it. Yeah. <laughs> it had a lot of repeats compared to uh, Seagulls. Yeah, yeah. It, the thing is, man, I mean, it, it, the fact that they that they do that, the fact that they are able to uh, make songs also, like that. The Bushes of Love was a good one, too. Yeah. <laughs> and also, my Ryan Johnson add-ins, I believe in those. Because he wrote the movie, he knew exactly what he was doing. But, oh well. Subvert expectations in spite of all story elements. That's all I gotta say. So yeah, bad lip readings, man. Still going. How many how many subs are they at right now? Let me, let's take a look. Uh, 7.66 million uh, subs on there. I'm leaving mm -hmm. a like on this video too. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> My stick. My stick. <laughs> My stick is better than bacon. That's one of the only things I will say I strongly disagree with. Yep. Because, nah, there's not much better than bacon. Not much. Um, bacon wrapped shrimp. That's my number one food wrapped around my number three favorite food. You get, I'd go to a benefit 
in name of the Somali pirates if they were serving bacon wrapped shrimp. Same. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I, I can get behind what you guys are about. It's bacon wrapped shrimp. It's the shit. I wonder, uh, you know what, that the that one guy uh, who gave Ron Swanson the gold gun, uh, the, like, the dictator, he's, uh, if uh, he would have served him bacon-wrapped shrimp and given him a golden gun, Ron would have pretty much just been like, I have my disagreements with him, but this is a pretty sweet-ass gun, and he did give me some bacon-wrapped shrimp. So, he's not all bad. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, my stick, my stick, uh, released on Christmas. So hey, Merry Christmas there, everybody. So <laughs> and have a happy New Year. So again, everybody, thank you all very much for tuning in. Uh, this was a uh, my stick, a bad lip reading of the Last Jedi. That was gonna be a little bit more, but eh, well, I I'm still like I still like I still like this. Uh, and if you want to see uh, more from Bad Lip Reading, I mean, there's a link to the original video down below in the description. If you want to see more from us, you know what to do. Subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like on the video. It helps us out a whole lot. And I guess until next time, everybody, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. And we will see you all in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>